I think people would really yeah. like it. This was one of the first ones he did, so it's not quite as complex, but you can see some pretty cool linkages and things in here that make things make things work. And I remember him using, you know, he'd show this one over here, and if you take off that top link right there, then it won't work. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because mm -hmm. it's got to go past dead center in order for the thing to spin it on around. So it's got a push and pull kind of an operation there. So he could find, and uh, you see some of them that you will recognize, some of them you won't. A lot of these are inside of machines that you don't ever see. This is like the Geneva wheel over here. This is a old, one of the first gears. So he developed this as yeah, he built every part. Mm -hmm. And then we had it. Uh, I won't tell you the whole long story, but we inherited this and. Uh, so we took it over to that was up to their chariot wheel. This would be like a, maybe a piece of metal being pushed in for an operation. And here, here you have two gears going around and, and the piece on top is spinning with them. Here, this is going around in a circle, but it's staying stationary, isn't it? So depending on what you want to happen, of course, this is your cams and pistons and crankshafts. This one here is kind of floating back and forth, kind of intermittent. That's kind of like a magneto on an old airplane, right there. Uh, pistons moving up and down here, you can see them the sequence. There's the same kind of similar thing over here. And I've not, been, man. yeah, I've been looking at these things for years, but they're still amazing to me. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.